Hi, so today we are going to simulate a microchip patch antenna using Zilin software. So we are going to create a new file here to take the ground to be 0 and the dielectric to be 1.6. This can be chosen according to our needs. So here I am choosing 1.6 and now this to be 1.6. The substrate thickness also to be 1.6 the length are in mm you can clearly see here and now click ok so this is our place where we have to simulate it this is the types of patches available so i am going for the rectangular shape the z coordinate is 1.6 we can see now we have to select the size length and the width which i am taking to be 10 and 15 and ok so this is the patch now to select the ground we have to see select z coordinate to be zero and the length and the width the size of the ground should be roughly twice the size of the patch so i'm taking it as 20 and 30 respectively okay now we have to select the feed point the feed point should be 2 comma 3 let's just support and choose different feed points also and now select ok and we have to save this file before simulating so let's just suppose it to be ok now running the simulations we have to choose certain things here and there we have to choose the radiation patterns and also the number of simulations we require that is roughly four let's just take it as 451 and we can click ok so now you can see it is getting simulated the remaining so it is quite quick so this is the uh, the 3d diagram or this figure of the antenna we are having here and this is the current distribution now we can see the return loss pattern this is you can see is quite good at 7.67 you can see it is as minus 23 dB which is which is roughly 23 dB we can see it is quite good return loss pattern we can see uh, we can also see the 3D pattern the gain uh, let's just take it as 7.5 5.8 which we can also see it as the highest is 6.91 dpi which is quite good it's, which is actually very good so we can also see different things like the vswr values or the we can see z parameters the real and the imaginary parts of it and different things according to our requirement we can even change the size of the ground or the patch by selecting the vertices and then selecting shift plus m and we can see we can move the values we can select the offset values to be zero and uh, around let's just take one minus one right so we can see the size got reduced we can do it in similar ways to achieve our particular requirement here so this is all uh, for this video in next video we will talk about defective ground structure where we will see how to make some certain defects in the ground to achieve some bands which are otherwise not possible to achieve with the size of this given patch Thank you.